Hello, hello, and hello to all my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your midweek Wednesday reading. This reading is for the 10th of May through the um, 10th of June, Pisces. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. If you haven't had a chance to watch Sunday's reading, Sunday's reading, I mean, Sunday's readings have always have questions, right? That's preparing you for the upcoming major moon phase. So we're coming up on the last quarter moon phase in Aquarius. And so those questions are going to help you. Those questions, if you listen to the questions, I'm giving you the answers to what's to come so that you can smoothly move on into the next moon phase and close out cycles strong so you don't feel guilty about what you're leaving behind or feel some sense of being pulled backwards. So if you really, really pay attention, here we go. Here you want to land on the bright side of the moon in Aquarius. That means you're more idealist. You're feeling more idealistic, creative, tolerant, a humanitarian with a progressive outlook, right? Specifically as a water sign, Pisces, um, a, a moon in Aquarius, um, accentuates your imaginative clairvoyant qualities you have a unique talent for self-expression all right so king of pentacles out of the deck first here we have the knight of wands i'm talking to you if you have pisces anywhere in your chart knight of wands eight of swords we have the three of wands the five of the five of swords and also the page of swords so somebody has been really really overthinking some some things um, possibly having to do with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And so Source is saying to you, just stay as far away from those energies as possible. If you've been feeling drained, if you feel like it's just unclear, if you're feeling fear or timid or it makes you sick to your stomach to even think about some of the energies that you moved on from, Source is saying, just get on, you know, like get on your horse or in your car, on the bus, some kind of mode of transportation, stay as far away from the energies as possible and don't look back. Because there's so much water, so much expansion, creative water represents your creativity, joy. It's like there's so much joy that lies ahead. Leave the past in the past. So something has been heavily, you know, on somebody's mind. Somebody has definitely been looking back at the past and just, you know, keep wondering if something is going to resurface. Two situations in particular, something going to resurface. Are they going to come back and sources like it's over? Just move on. You know, you went through something that was really traumatic for you, but the anxiety is going to go away very, very soon. So look forward to that anxiety about whatever's been on your mind to go away very, very soon. So you can really focus on King of Pentacles, really focus on your throne, focus on your wealth, focus on getting secure again with, you know, getting rooted and grounded. So you don't feel like you have to move around a lot or, you know, um, you know, just feel unstable in some way, shape, form, or fashion, or hoard a bunch of memories, you know, for some things. Here we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Moon card, we have the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Devil card, and also the Six of Wands. So it's a devil that is trying to play tricks on somebody's mind through some things that you've gone through in the past that was quite overwhelming, Pisces. Like I said, two energies in particular, the energies could have been, like I said before, People could have moved on. Source really wants you to move on to the Ten of Pentacles and start focusing on your legacy. What do you want your legacy to be? Like if you were to transition today, you know, and we hope that doesn't happen. But if you were to transition, what would you want to be remembered for? Right. Start focusing on your legacy. Tomorrow is not promise for anybody. So Source is saying victory for you. And getting as far away from those energies as humanly possible. I'm saying wish fulfillment. So make your wishes good. Even if you're saying, I hope certain, and I never, I hope I never have to encounter certain energies ever again. If you're saying that, say it, keep saying, God, thank you that I don't ever have to encounter certain energies again. Let me be walking out of one door. If they come in any other, let us never see each other, you know, because that was overwhelming. It could have caused a mental breakdown for some people or caused some people to, you know, be put on meds or something like that. And we do not joke about mental health on this channel at all because some people have had some situations in their lives where they just wanted to just check out mentally. Just like, you know what? I just rather be in a zombie fire state because people are just that cruel. So there's been a lot of um, lamenting over some things, a lot of thinking, a lot of sweating, sources like sweating things out, maybe even crying, thinking about certain things. And so sources like, it's going to get better. It's definitely going to get better. So like I said, past emotions keep resurfacing, you know, about something. But I see you moving forward. 
definitely see you moving forward. Here we have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and also the King of Swords. So Source is saying again, further reiterating Knight energy. You got Knight of Wands here and Knight. You have to be the person to take action. No phone calls, text messages, email, steer clear of that energy all together. Here we also have the King of Swords. King of Swords energy is a person who is very, very smart, somebody who's very wise, like wise enough to know I'm not stepping down off of my throne for anybody. King of Pentacles and King of Swords, very powerful position. A person who is very smart, someone who is on their way to legacy wealth and an enormous amount of material wealth and also you know, being in different circles and all of those things. So stay focused, stay laser focused. Here we have the five of cups, the page of cups, the four of cups, and also the queen of cups. And this is where your water is coming in, right? So the five of cups came out twice. Somebody has definitely been lamenting over two situations in particular. It could be more attached to something from your past. And it's been, a, it's been heavy on somebody's mind. This is a four of cups. Somebody has been definitely ruminating. Um, but there's some fresh water coming your way and also the queen of cups. And again, you have compassion for what you're leaving behind, but you're saying I'm moving on from something. I am definitely moving on from something. So let's pull your number card and also affirmation card and let's close it out. So like I said, source is saying, just steer clear of those energies altogether, the draining energies. One of the things that somebody is going to start to notice is that when you pick up that same scent or you pick up that same spirit in different bodies, you'll notice that even if you never had an argument or any kind of like negative encounter with them, you'll start feeling drained around certain energies. You'll just like almost be irritated in their, in their, in their presence. That's when you'll know, okay, same spirit of what you've dealt with in the past. I'm already familiar with that spirit. Let me steer clear of it. Let me just steer clear. I don't even want to, I don't even want to, you know, there we go. 16. I am perceptive. There we go. That's it. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker and an angel and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. 16 reduces to seven. When I tell you God is piecing it all together for somebody, pay attention, Pisces, pay attention. There's definitely some energies that source is saying stairs, stay as far away from Certain energies make you mad. You start thinking about it. Then all of a sudden you become the hostile one, right? Source is like, mm-mm, protect your water. Affirmations for strength. All obstacles in my path are being cleared. I am stronger than yesterday. I am brave. I am courageous. I learn from my mistakes. Failure is a farce. All effort is testing. I rise above all that stands in my way. Improvement is my only concern. That is what I have for you, Pisces, and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.